At Autodesk, sustainability means improving the world for future generations, not just leaving it the same. Virtually everything in the built environment, roads, bridges, buildings, is constructed with and sustained by energy, water, and materials, producing a carbon footprint. The choices made during the design process significantly affect the immediate and long-term environmental impact of the building project. Did you know that in the U.S., buildings contribute nearly 40% of our greenhouse gas emissions? That's right. Just imagine the opportunity to help combat climate change by designing better performing buildings. Autodesk Technology is helping to make it possible using the powerful analysis tools in the Autodesk Green Building Studio web-based service. You can design buildings that are more efficient, even carbon neutral. The potential is huge. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. In just minutes, we'll demonstrate how to design a carbon neutral building with the Green Building Studio web service. Let's start with a scheme using Revit-based software. It can be commercial or residential. This one happens to be a large commercial project located in San Francisco. And export it to a GBXML file and then use the GBXML client to upload it to the Green Building Studio web service. The digital information contained in a Revit design model is a great fit for energy, water, and carbon emission analyses. As soon as the elements that define a building's thermal zones are established, the layout of walls, windows, roofs, floors, and interior partitions, the model is ready for accurate, whole building analysis. Next, based on the building's size, type, and location, the Green Building Studio service creates a baseline building and conducts a whole building energy simulation using DOE 2 energy analysis technology. DOE 2 simulates every hour of the year, accounting for all weather, solar, and internal loads as well as energy uses in the building. It also models the effects of passive solar design. Now, just minutes after leaving the Revit model, you've got results. These results are specifically designed to give you the right information at the right time to guide your design decisions, including carbon neutrality potential. Along with the total building energy use and cost, you'll get an outline of your building's carbon footprint. For this scheme, you'll spend almost $270,000 a year on energy. Electricity use will produce 813 tons of CO2 emissions with 181 tons from on-site fuel use. Now, who has a good feel for how much that really is? That's why the Green Building Studio web service gives an SUV equivalent. So this building's CO2 emissions are equivalent to 90 SUVs driving 15,000 miles a year. Whoa! Now, what's the potential for this building to be carbon neutral? This base run emits 994 tons of CO2 a year. If you maximize the renewable energy sources, rely on your environment for natural ventilation, and use biofuels on site, you can shrink the carbon footprint to 21.1 tons of CO2, as you can see on the net emissions line. So that's the number of tons you need to slash in order for your building to potentially be carbon neutral. And this is all based on the mix of power sources in your region. Let's have a look at some of the other results. Here's your building estimated water use and cost summary. The photovoltaic potential section tells you how much power you could generate if you install solar panels on all the best performing exterior surfaces of your building. There's also a yes-no decision point for your lead glazing factor. Further down, we come to a snapshot of a potential energy gain from a wind microturbine based on the wind data from one of the 55,000 weather locations used by Green Building Studio, ensuring you'll have hourly weather data within 10 miles of your site. If you are lucky enough to be located in a part of the country where you can open your windows to cool the building, this next section will tell you that. For this building, there is a potential to do that over 80% of the time that cooling is required. Sweet! Literally within minutes, the Green Building Studio web service can determine if the building design requires a cooling system or not. Okay, but how do we take this building from emitting 994 tons of carbon into the atmosphere to being carbon neutral? Let's try some design alternatives. We can reorient the building to maximize the benefit of solar power, 
and add daylighting sensors that turn the lights off when natural light levels are high enough. Let's also put high-performance glass on all sides of the building to see what effect it has on our energy use and carbon output. Using the Autodesk Green Building Studio web service, you can change your envelope and glazing options very quickly in the four key solar orientations of your building. Now we're ready to give our design alternative a name, add it to the alternatives table, and run it. We'll know the run is finished when the globe stops spinning and the annual energy cost of this alternative appears. And right away, we'll be able to compare it to the energy cost of our initial base run, which appears at the top. Huh, looks like we just saved nearly 20 grand per year. Not bad for a few minutes' work. Looking at our new results, our design alternative measures cut 110 tons of carbon from our electricity usage, and our renewable potential increased to 628 tons of mitigated carbon. Now we're potentially carbon neutral for electricity use. Let's look at other design alternatives to offset our fuel use using efficiency. If we click on the name of our first set of design alternatives, that configuration will be set and appear above in red. Let's improve the efficiency of our lighting and fine-tune our HVAC system with a more efficient one. Once again, we enter the name of the alternative, add it, and run it. While we wait for our new energy cost, I'd like to point out that in design alternatives, you can modify the envelope construction and glass amount on each solar orientation as well as on the roof. Hey, I wonder how far our new design alternative will take us beyond carbon neutral. Oh, it's ready. Let's find out. Our net carbon dropped another 113 tons to negative 208 tons. Now we've offset our fuel use using efficiency and renewables. The building has a 208-ton carbon credit. <laughs> Congratulations! Your building can now go beyond carbon neutral. To achieve sustainability, designers should understand what factors they can influence and then be able to measure, analyze, and optimize those factors. The Autodesk Green Building Studio web service has powerful energy, water, and carbon analysis tools to help enable architects and designers to better understand a building's potential performance at the earliest stages of the design process, when the design decisions they make will have the most impact. Carbon neutrality can be a reality. Try for yourself.